guys, today we're learning about how to find an angle that we don't know the degree of. Now, in order to be able to do this, there are two angle measurements that we definitely need to know about. One angle measurement is a 90 degree angle, and that would be a right angle. So whenever you have a 90 degree angle, it's a right angle, and you will usually see a square in the corner to give it away. And the other angle that you really should know about is a straight angle, just a flat line, which is 180 degrees. And it's 180 degrees because if you have, if you cut it down the middle, it's made up of 90 on this side and 90 on that side. And we took the zeros away, 99 is 18, add the zero back on, 180 degrees. So knowing a 90 degree angle and knowing a 180 degree angle is going to be very helpful in this process. Now, let's look at our first example. We have X, that's what we need to figure out. What is the measurement of this angle, X? We know this side is 120 degrees, but we don't know what X is. However, we know what a straight angle makes. We know a straight angle is 180 degrees. So this entire line is 180 degrees. This part is 120. So think of it as part, part makes the whole. So if you have 180, Let's see if I can do this so you can see. You have 180. You already know that this is 120. So you could take 120 away from 180 and you are left with 60. Guess what? You just found out the degrees of that angle. Let's go to our next example. Right here, they want to know what is the degree of X? What is the degree of Y? Guess what? I see a little box here. I know that's got to be 90 degree angle because it's showing me it's a right angle. And because this is a right angle, this guy, even though he doesn't have a little box, he's on that straight line. So anytime you see a 90 degree angle, the other side is 90 degrees. That is unless it's cut, but if it's not cut, it's going to also be 90 degrees because 90 and 90 makes the whole of 180, right? All right, let's go down here to our last example. We have 40 degrees. Then we want to know what Y, X, and Z angle measurements are. It looks really intense, but it's not that intense. My first step is, what's the easiest one to figure out for me right now? I have nothing really to go off of with Z and X, but I do have this straight line, and I know a straight angle is 180 degrees. Oh, 180 degrees. And this little section is 40 degrees. So 180 minus the 40 that I already know about is going to leave me with 140 degrees. Guess what? I just found out why. And I'm going to show you a really cool trick. Now, when you have your straight line, if you have an angle that goes, or a, another line that goes through it, the, it mirrors itself. So this 40 can flip over here, and this would be 40 degrees. This 140 would flip over here, and this would be 140 degrees. You just found out all those measurements. So remember, we need to know a right angle is 90 degrees and a straight line equals 180 degrees and you'll be able to find out any missing numbers or missing measurements using part part whole strategy. All right guys, have a great day.